Hi friends, I am coming to you from my dad's kitchen. Dad, can I show you doing this? Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not really cute. You are cute doing it. It's a desperate measure to keep, to keep it from burning. I know. He has a strong hand and a strong spoon, <laughs> and he's making his infamous peanut brittle. And you'll see over here, he's done one batch. He has to do one batch at a time, and he has stretched it out on the cookie sheets here. With, they're slammed, they're covered in butter. So these ones are all prepped, right, Dad? Yeah. These are all buttered, yep. And then you put them on here, and Chelsea, you're gonna help him. You're gonna get two forks, you're gonna come over. I need you to go get the one of the big freezer. Oh, to put it all in? Yeah. Okay, I'll get, I'll get that. So he'll pour the peanut brittle onto the pan, and then you use the forks and you stretch it out thin. Everyone else does peanut brittle super, super thick, and we don't like it thick. We like it paper thin. Can you guys see that? Oh, okay, hang on. When we say we have bowls, they have bowls. Look at these. This is the smallest one they have. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I can't believe I caught this. Man, I'm awake for this. All right, it's coming, Chelsea. Get your forks. Not yet. I just can't believe I caught it in time. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is for posterity. Watch Grandpa make peanut brittle. <laughs> People deliver their own containers to my dad's house to get this peanut brittle. Oh, I mean, if you need a container to put it in, here you go. <laughs> That's kind of how he takes orders for how much peanut brittle he needs to make. But now he doesn't have to mail it to us. We'll just eat some while we're here. And then you lay it out. Spread it out a little ways here when you can. Yep. Oh, it looks so good, but it's so hot. Yeah, this is 300 degrees. You yeah. Don't want to get too close. Can to me take the pan from you? No. Okay. He's used to doing this by himself. I'm letting it cool down before I start stretching it. Before I um, expose it to water. It to oh, the pan itself. Yeah. All right. This is the why my dad gave me the aluminum pan he gave me last year with and my sister because he's the master candy maker. There we go. So you can see this. It's just, it's literally, look how thin that is, you guys. It's like paper thin. It's so good. This is my breakfast. Peanuts are healthy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. And if you leave little fork marks in it, that means those are little marks of love. They are. True marks of love. can't do this with your fingers. Nope. I mean, this is the step people don't do. They just pour it out and let it be super thick. But the stretch is like, because eating a piece that's like thin like that melts in your mouth. Well, when you put this much butter and this much sugar and this much peanuts and... Yeah. You, you can't, can't make it bad. You know, no. Unless you burn it. Yeah, but I don't know that you've ever burned a batch. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> you just don't let us know. <laughs> Once he's done the edges, start to lift it and stretch the middle. The pan is hot. <laughs> Just from having it on there. Look at that stretch. <laughs> That's how you crack it. So good. And this will be eaten very fast. This is just for one party. This is just for our family party. Look at that. So good. Hi. You missed the whole thing. <laughs> you have to move fast. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So now this one is ready. Pull it off. Now it cools on the counter. Oh, you still stretch it? You want to grab forks? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to get ready for the wedding. We still have a couple hours. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to do my makeup yet. I'm going to start to straighten my hair. And then I will go and eat and have breakfast, not peanut brittle. <laughs> and then uh, finish doing my makeup as we get closer to wedding time. 
my twin sister is on her way. She did not come last night. She was too tired after work. So she's on her way right now. I'm gonna make fudge with her either tonight. No, oh, I won't do it tonight because we have the wedding. Um, probably tomorrow, tomorrow morning, maybe even after church. So let's go and <laughs> actually get ready. I haven't gotten ready since church a week ago. So we'll go do that. You guys, tell us. I've gotten ready to go for the day. And I tell you, Are I you love. Go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm. I'm. Re I love Utah air because it's so cold and so dry. So I get like a little bit of extra volume in my hair. Wait. <laughs> no, don't poof it too much. No, just look. What? There you go. Oh, thank you. I am not ready for the wedding by any means. We're just gonna go for I'm a drive. Because I'm in shorts. You are in shorts. Are you coming with us? Yeah. You need to go brush your hair, or it's no, gonna. It's gonna freeze. Go brush your hair. She's kind of having an allergic reaction. We're all getting dry skin. Um, it's so dry. We're just used to Seattle wet air. Um, yeah, Jason has stinky feet. He had to get like air freshener for his shoes. Heck, My feet, like, like bad. Like the whole room stunk yesterday. Well, it wasn't the whole room. Downstairs it was. Anyway, um, we have it like two hours before we have to go to the wedding. So we're just going to go um, and get some antifreeze for the windshield wiper. Like the windshield wiper fluid but it needs to be for cold temperatures with antifreeze in it um, because we think it's frozen in our um, windshield wipers right now. Um, and so <laughs> we can't clean our windshield. In Seattle, you don't have to worry about that. And so we're gonna go and grab that and a cold beverage for myself. And then just kind of killing time. My sister was supposed to be here by now, my twin sister and even my other sister, but um, the one is Mom. up in Idaho. She's driving back. Can I show you something? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> and then my twin sister forgot something, had to turn around, go back to her house. So she's just barely on her way. She's literally going to come just in time for the wedding. So, so you, know <laughs> you won't how, see her before. So what? you know how your, your shoes fall off? You can just go like this. What? It flip around. <laughs> to the wrong shoe? <laughs> yeah. It's and then sweet. they don't fall off. Yeah. Ashley Brown. I taught her it. Chelsea Brown. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Well, they fit perfectly. Just to do something? Did you shower last night? Yeah, are you asked me I did. Morning? Okay, she did shower. Your hair is literally going to freeze. It's 14 outside. Did you brush it? Yeah. Bring the brush. You're going to need to keep brushing it when we're outside. Promise. We didn't really film while we went out. We went and got a drink, and then we went and got washer fluid, and then we ran back home um, and finished getting ready, got our dresses on. The girls look really cute in their little pantsuits and sweaters to stay warm. And we're gonna really quick run through the car wash because the salt and the sand on the roads here is just like bothering us. Our car is filthy, but it's also only 20 degrees outside. So we have to make sure we had a nice car wash that actually gets it, blows it dry. And he needs to figure out how to put the car into car wash mode because there's no neutral. I mean, there is, but I mean, there is a neutral, so. Anyway, we're gonna figure that out real quick. Jason survived his first car wash in a Tesla. Little, little uh, nerve-wracking because we couldn't figure out how to get it into neutral. Go into neutral. I've gotten in neutral several times on accident. We just don't know how to do it. But we should have looked that up before well, we. I kept. You're supposed to half hit it. I don't know why it didn't work. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. I'm driving. You're smiling. Just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. It's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated with you. We can't 
show the wedding. We just showed um, kind of the outside of the building and we went in for the wedding. It's kind of a sacred wedding venue for our religion. But cute bride, it's freezing cold today. What was the temperature outside? 24. I don't even think it's 24. <laughs> so cold. Um, and now we're waiting at the luncheon venue. Um, we're just, we have about a half hour, 45 minutes until lunch. So we're just gonna wait here in our car. Everyone's kind of coming over from where the wedding was um, and we're all just kind of meeting over here. But we're gonna enjoy, we have some snacks in the car, thanks to dad. And enjoying pe making people think someone's farting. Outside. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the turn signal um, fart sound outside the car. Horrible. And we're parked, parked right next to us. Yeah, we're parked <laughs> right up front. This oh, is where okay. the venue is. Where the luncheon is, I mean, and we're gonna um, turn the signal on anytime any of our family members walk by the car. <laughs> it helps to get here yeah, first. I'm announced. So. Oh. You say that I'm crazy. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. Mm. Your laughter takes me to heaven. I just wanna make you. Repeat it and repeat it again Yeah, you make the sky so blue No, nothing's complicated, baby. All right. <laughs> you know, I knew it was going to be hard to film today just because there's so many festivities going on. But it was really difficult to keep the camera out and kind of keep the privacy of, you know, the event and, and my family and whatnot. But also we just were having so much fun and <laughs> just occupied. But we've had a good time, it's now 9.30. We've been home for about an hour and a half or so. And I'm um, talking to my dad and the other kids are um, relaxing, Jason's relaxing. Um, and my sister, my twin sister and my brother just got home from the reception. They kind of stayed and helped clean up. I needed to come home and get Ashley and Chelsea kind of settled in bed and whatnot. But my sister and I want to stay up and play games. And so we're gonna go get snacks. <laughs> Snacks and drinks. And uh, where's Aaron going? I got inside. It's damn. We're going to freeze. Oh, okay. It is currently, let me see how cold it is outside. It is 19 degrees, but as my sister just said, it feels like negative five. With the humidity, it's dry humidity, so it makes it feel even colder. It was so flipping cold waiting for um, the bride to come out of the temple, which is where she got married. That's where we were this afternoon. Um, and then you have to stand there and wait for the pictures to be taken. And luckily we're extended family. And so we only needed to get one photo taken. I don't know how to unlock these doors. Hang on. Okay. She's in the car. But anyway, you might need to scoot it back. I sit up close. Um, but it was so cold on the side, just like normal. Oh my, my I'm foot. sorry. <laughs> okay. Go out first and then. My right foot just doesn't do. No, I know. She has. Quarters. Anyway, yeah, just push it back. There you go. Um, but it was so cold, wasn't it? Yes. So cold. Waiting for the pictures and they literally like, snapped to? my camera. Oh. And she's like, who are you talking to? Um, and then they were like, okay, we're done with extended family. You guys can all go home. And it was like, <laughs> See ya! Bye! We're going to our warm cars. Then Jason preheated our, our car. So, anyway, it was very cold today. And this goes way back. It does go back. So, anyway, we're going to go for a drive. Go get snacks. She's going to experience the Tesla for the first time. You can tell me what your joy, experience is. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. Yes. So we'll see what her experience is when we get back. And then I'm going to close out the video because we want to just play and have a good time. Yeah.